Okay, we're back again. So I completely forgot I can still use the pedals on my steering wheel as long as the steering wheel is centered off. Which makes things a lot easier. Still got a steer, obviously. So if we jump in here, we've got 1,650 litres in there. So I think what I'll do is I will leave the field that I've got halfway done as it is for now. I won't waste fertiliser on that little bit I've missed. Maybe we'll fill it in at the end. Don't want to mix fertiliser and slurry if I can. I think for efficiency we will set up a uh, GPS course for this field just so we get the maximum spread as we can. Just quick I was saying to set up some courses actually with these implements, say so having to do this every time. There we go. We just toggle lines quickly, make sure we're on. And then auto. And again, we need to move our lines so they are lined off to uh, the edge of the field here. So the blue lines should match the edge. we go just about now to all lines off We're locked on now hopefully this should cover the spread or the uh, fertilizer quite on is it this is just uh, check our lines a bit too far to the right there I think it's because the field's a bit odd shaped I think once we get up the line it should uh, fit in the gap we we'll lose a little bit down the edge but it's not a big problem There we go, back on track now. So you can see the texture slightly. It's a bit different to the slurry, but there is a texture there you can lock onto. Or helps you see what you've put down. There we go, nice and easy. It seems like the solid vert goes a lot further though. I think the slurry by now would be halfway down. So obviously, yes, it's going further, but we've got to pay for solid vert. Whereas the slurry in the Dodge State is all a byproduct of the animals. So, yes, it's slower, a longer process, but it is essentially a free product we're getting. So just while doing this, we have a little chat. So, yeah, the channel's doing okay. Um, if you are subscribed, so I just I did hit two thousand hours 
except for Christmas. Um, basically means to get monetized, you need to have 4,000 hours. Um, the first thousand took me quite a while because obviously um, I had a bit of a gap between the first videos I put out and you haven't got many subs so it's difficult to get the hours in. But now I've got I think 330 odd subs at the moment. Um, the hours are coming up, we've got about a thousand last month alone so hopefully we can make another 2,000 hours up by I think March time I need to get at least 4,000 because you don't get that 4,000 within 12 months basically they reset um, the subs don't matter from what I've gathered the subs don't matter you need a thousand subs as well but you can get them anytime you want like lifetime so hopefully we get the, the view times in um, by March or else it will reset but it should be easy to get 4,000 anyway once we've got more subs coming in if we can do it in the first year, that would be perfect. And what that means is, obviously, we get a small bit of income from the um, the ads and the videos, and then we can do little more giveaways as well. We've obviously got the year two pass coming out this year, so hopefully we can do some giveaways for the year two pass if, if enough funds accumulate, um, which would be nice because obviously people do watch my videos and do comment. So it is nice to give something back to um, to the viewers, really. Because I played the game either way, so it doesn't bother me too much. But if we can make a bit of dollar dollar bill on the side and give something back to my viewers, it would be, you know, nice nice for you guys. Especially for people that might not be able to afford the um, packages and the DLCs. I mean, I've only just got it myself, the DLC. So that just shows, you know, I haven't got it all myself either. Yeah, if you have stuck around um, over Christmas and there's been a bit of a gap in the videos, do appreciate it. Uh, the, the subs were going up and down a little bit. We had like 328 and it was up to 330. It was back down to 329. So maybe people got bored of waiting. I'm not too sure. Um, but if you have stuck around with a bit of a gap, obviously I had COVID as well, which set me back a little bit. I do appreciate um, everyone sticking around. So this field is a bit more straight, so we should be able to set it up a bit easier. So let's go. Another A point. And a B. Shovel lines. Oh, look at that. Almost. Just on, so we'll leave it as it is. I think pretty much on spot there. Allow a bit of an overlap just in case the field expands slightly. So off we go. Yeah, I think the uh, solid fert definitely goes a lot further, doesn't it? Did a whole field there, and we still got 65% left. And we've still got some in the bags as well, so we wouldn't. But we don't need to order as much as I thought we'd need to order. Um, we are going to need some seeds though. We have got the seed distributor, but we are going to need to fill it. So obviously things will change as well. I know the last couple of episodes have been... Uh, a lot of spread and slurry and fertilizer for the fields but it is going to help us uh, in the long run and we'll start doing some um, seeding soon and get some more grass cut as well spring grass so things will get busy again once we get this fields prepped again and once we've done it once as well we should hopefully not have to do it for a bit of a while because obviously the fields were in pretty bad condition. So hopefully maybe maybe once or twice every two years for the lime. And then obviously the fertilizer we'll just do naturally. Maybe not spud slurry every time. We'll just use fertilizer when we plant. There's the old uh, cow farm up in the distance there. 
did get the full effect earlier when I spun the slurry, took my dogs for a walk. There's a little dairy farm just outside the village and it was stinking and other dogs smell cow. So I did feel like I was really in the moment. <laughs> little Arthur behind me somewhere. There he is on the floor behind me. Snoozing his little head off. If you haven't guessed as well, some of the the end screens of videos, the dogs that appear, they are my dogs. They're not just some random person's dogs that I put on YouTube. So 25% now. Um, so yeah, we probably need to cover up your bags actually. Done most of the field, or half the field. Hopefully this last 20% gets us to the end. And we'll go get some more at the bag. Although, if I turn this off quickly, it looks like um, automatic rate should be on. So the solid fat has given us 140 kilograms per hectare, which obviously the slurry is only giving us 60 kilograms. So we are actually getting more in the green, the looks of things. Let's have a look. Let's compare. So yeah, with the solid fat, we're getting in the green, <clears throat> whereas obviously the slurry only gives you like a baseline sort of spread. So in theory, if we spread slow in the fields we've got enough for the year and then top up with the um well, we, we, we shouldn't even need the solid fat once we um spray the crop that should put us in the green anyway we might actually need to buy any solid fat next year but we'll see how that looks um next year so i probably could turn it down yeah uh, right down to like 60 kilograms as well so it's even across I mean, we've got a crop sensor as well, but there's no crop in the ground, so I don't think it will work. I probably should maybe adjust it so it's the same rate because then it will get all the field spread then um, in one pass it will be a light cover but again I say once we once we uh, drill if the drill has got a cedar built in as well and we spray that will put us in the right place so we could probably maybe make our bags go a little bit further but yeah obviously this is a learning curve we could adjust us and adjust in the future. We left the bag out, shouldn't we? Left the engine one as well, it's not good for the fuel. So if we grab this bag. Do you need a bag lift for this uh, attachments actually? I'm sorry, my dog was doing something weird behind me. So now, if we bring that one in.
make sure I shut the uh, engine off this time. So how much is that giving us? 350 litres, not a whole lot. So it looks like there was some rain on the way as well. Um, so I'm going to try and spread as much as we can on this last field. Well, we've got two more fields to go. And I think what I'll do is I will go and buy probably two more bags of fertilizer should cover us. Um, and I'll get the rest of these fields done probably off camera. Um, and then we will join the next episode for April 1st, which is obviously a time where we can actually start getting things in the ground once more. We can technically plant oats now. Um, but we can plant quite a bit March in March time. I'd like to be able to plant some wheat and barley this summer year. So we've got a winter crop. Or spring barley, I'm not sure if it means... If, I'm, sure, I'm not sure if spring barley means when you harvest it in spring or when you plant it in spring. Or the opposite. But yeah, hopefully someone can let me know. So we can do some soybeans. Um, potatoes I'd like to do in the future once we get more money and equipment. Sorghum we can probably do. Um, but I'm probably going to do some oats, I think, and maybe some sorghum. I'm not sure you get a straw swath from sorg sorghum, um, but definitely oats. So we get the straw from them, and maybe some sunflowers. Who knows? Um, we'll do a bit of a split, maybe. Would I like to get some barley in the ground? That we could do. No, canola's not till August either. Some canola in August would be nice. So if we plant now, we'll harvest in August. So we quick turn around on the fields to get the canola in. Now I digress once more. Let's just get this done. So I'll finish up here. And then again, um, still got a little bit of time off before I get to work. I'm not back to work till about the 6th of January. 6th, 7th, I forget already. So I should hopefully get some videos done. I'm playing a bit of Daisy over Christmas as well. I'm into Daisy again. I go through phases, I'll play it for a few weeks straight and then I will not play it for months on end. Um, but my other half plays with me as well, which doesn't help me get off it. But yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Take care and have a good new year.